is up guys welcome back for more sr project today's episode or vlog whatever you want to call this cool shit for today we're gonna go ahead and paint my new wheels yes got rid of the oem ser's and i'm on some uh ssr's they're at least eight pound each around roughly um they're very light work. they're 15 by seven and a half so they still under my fender they're not poking out that's what i want uh, my friend jodam has the same wheels uh i like them when he put them on so i went and got them too i like them so and they were very good price, so I couldn't let them down. So hopefully you can hear me with all this wind on my on I-4 highway right here. Um, yeah, so I got them pretty much, they're, they're a little beat up on the paint. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to my parents' house. There I can go ahead and lift up my car, and you know, keep it there, lift it up while I do the wheels. Yeah, and because I live in an apartment, so I can't do that there. It sucks. So uh, I'm on my way there. Hopefully, I, I don't know, I'm thinking about white. Some people tell me uh, gold or bronze, whatever. Uh, some other people tell me other colors that combines with my car. My car is blue. Uh, white, they're white right now. And to be honest, they look good. But I don't want to be on the hassle of just cleaning them wheels every single time. They get dirty fast. I have a lot of experience with white wheels before and they suck. But they look sexy. So I'm going to keep them white. Unless I see something in the store and get some eye in. I'll like that one better and then I'll be like, oh, never mind. But it's not going plastic dip. It's gonna go straight dupli color or rustoleum, whatever the I think it's dupli color that they sell for the wheels color. So I think I'm gonna do that one. They it's they 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 dry way faster than than the norm than rustoleum. The rustoleum takes time to uh, actually uh, dry up, but the one they sell for for it just specifically that they actually they're pretty fast. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go buy the paint. I actually got to get uh, the aircraft paint remover as well. I got some uh, sandpaper that I did not take with me that I'm very pissed off right now because I just remembered. And I got some other stuff. Yes, I brought the other stuff. But I forgot the sandpaper. Damn it, I got to buy some. All right. So, I'll see you guys in a second for you and 45 for me minutes so i'll see you guys soon this right here is what i was talking about these are the ssrs i got pretty lightweight you have one hand pretty light this is the color i'm going with it's a gloss and uh strip out the paint with this after that i don't know if we're going to use this 180 but uh now we're gonna use some of these mats that I got and then tip them up and paint them so uh I'll keep you guys posted and the and everything how I kind of do it so you guys can do it too if you don't know how to here's a how to so, yeah, you see in a second. All right, so right now, this is the, what I'm using to strip them out. Supposedly removes most finish from metal surface. Well, I did one, my dad's doing the other one right now. in a second how that rolls but in the meantime 
I think I want to go ahead and put a hole right here. It's not glass, it's plastic. A few of these came in glass, I believe is the older model. And uh, they came in glass. The new ones come with plastic. This one's kind of messed up. Actually, this one's messed up. See the white? And yeah, I know you tried toothpaste off. Uh, the wax, the turtle wax, everything for that, and you know, um, the last thing it is to uh, go ahead and give it a nice sandpaper on it, and then probably do a, coat, a clear coat on it. But for now, they're working a good because I'm actually getting the whole front grill and lights and corner lights from the uh, the other one that comes a little circle-ish. Yeah. So. For now, make it a little bit more meaner. I'm gonna go ahead and put a two inch hole in here. Go ahead and make it through. Probably put some piping in there. Some uh, inner floor piping straight to the intake. Or just leave it so the air can go in. So, uh, <coughs> then I got some, uh, I don't know, somewhere in here. Some uh, rubber hoses, very small thin that actually go put around the hole so it looks nicer and uh look a little bit meaner so it looks a little bit meaner not, not, not much but a little bit yeah so i'm gonna do that in the meantime the wheels are actually getting all burned and eat up by this beautiful can and oh yeah this is the other side of the car Man, I can't believe this is spray can. It's crazy. Talk to one of my buddies. His name is Javier. He works in the paint shop. Hopefully we can get this done by the December. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this paint off. And actually gonna get painted the original color. The original color for this car is blue. But it's a blue moon, I think it's called. I don't know, maybe. So we'll see about that. And the blend of December is definitely getting painted. And June, some price is coming for in there. In there, in, in there, inside all that. And uh, yeah, you'll see. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and show you what I did for the rear disc conversion. I never explained to you or showed you what I did. So, I don't know if I remember telling you this, but I did get calipers, they're brand new. They look old now, I don't know why. They were brand new, I promise. And uh, I put those new pads, and here's the rear disc conversion. Uh, put a spacer there for some reason. Oh, because the wheel, I like it to be tucked in, in. I like to be almost level with the fender. So that's why it has that. And yes, it does have enough, it does have enough thread. So be safe and uh, what else? Yeah, so pretty much what you had to do is take off your coils or shocks, whatever you have in your car. Uh, I believe this is one of the sway bars to the back. So you had to let me, uh, take that out and the control arms, the control arms. These control arms actually get seized to the drums so to take it out, you actually gotta burn the rubber off, the bushing, to take it out. So it's a pain in the ass. But after you do that, you get the whole assembly for the rear conversion disc. Put that on, it's a bolt-on, but it has to be from a SCR B13 or a NX. And uh, those are the only two that will fit in here in the meantime. Uh, if you want to do a bigger upgrade kit, then I believe in the forums they'll tell you how to do the whole B15 or P10, P11. I have no clue how to do those. Maybe the same process. I do not know. I just put the SCRs. They look okay. They look mean. They do what they have to do. And uh, to be honest, the car stops in a dime. This thing is awesome. And uh, yeah, so that's what I did. I put back everything back together. I did use the lines for the P10 that I had, and it came out and it works perfect. Nothing wrong with it. So, 
the front I got braided lines because I had to get new ones for some reason oh they were leaking so got that settled but besides that this is what this is what you have to do to do the rear conversion simple pretty simple it takes more time than what you think uh, yeah and this is the front this is off topic of what I'm doing but I just want to show you what I've done to it yeah all right so let's go see oh my dad just told me I gotta wait to 20 to 45 minutes <sighs> I mean it's coming along This is gonna take a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole uh, headlight thing I told you so we can actually do something in the meanwhile. Show you guys in a second. Alright, what I'm gonna do is go ahead, take this out so just in case something happens and jumps, it doesn't scratch most of what it has. Go for I'll do it right here. Right here, right here it's gonna be fine. Comes up through the other side perfectly to the other side right here. Do this when we do that. Make my mark. Damn it. Alright, well, let's move up. I don't know what I'm gonna hit back there. Hold on. Should be good. I have a few cables there, but it's not about nothing important. Look at this. Hey. <laughs> so. All right. Now comes the good part. It's cleaning time. Uh, it's not gonna make a big difference. It's just <coughs> makes it look nicer, I guess. Like I said, I have a black small hose, same width as this. You put it around here, make a little bit more. Still works. All right, so I couldn't find the hose that I bought for that. So I'm gonna use a small typical hose from a vacuum, cut it in half, and use that for now. Well, I get the other one. The other hose. Here's how it looks right now. I'm not worried about that right there. 
It's just something you won't see from the, from here. You won't see it. <laughs> it definitely goes through to the other side. It was Gucci. <coughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and look for the tube that actually goes for a few inches down, just three or four inches. So it won't put some water in there, some HIDs. But straight tube inside to the intake. Actually got uh, one of my old intercooler piping I had, two inch. Went and put and shoved it in there to the other side, and then put a rubber hose around it. To be honest, it looks pretty good, man. Straight down there. Um, very happy with it, actually. Let me see it here with the. I got nothing else in there. <sighs> nope, everything's our suit. I mean, it's, it does a job, puts air in there, and uh, small, kind of slick. Doesn't look that bad. Oh well. For free. What can you expect? I really didn't like much the one I bought. I usually buy the aircraft. But, uh, I mean, it is coming out slowly. But this thing looks like it has fucking five layer of paint so what I'm gonna do is turn on the pressure washer hopefully give it a nice sanding then paint them hopefully that will work but yeah see you guys soon you'll see it I'm gonna show you I'm gonna turn on the machine in a second This is how it came out with the auto stripper remove most finish from metal surface. I don't blame that. I blame one of the ex owners of these wheels that actually have a few different colors here. It has obviously the black, the white, the silver, gray, and white. And God knows what's underneath all that right there so we'll see what well actually what I want to do is I don't know if I'm gonna do a time-lapse on this but I'm actually gonna go ahead and start setting it down on the rough edges and then I'm gonna clean it up with the greaser and then I'm gonna let it dry up or dry it up and then tape it down and start painting Alrighty. well Most I'm taking it down to. Um, looks like it's actually peeled in there, but to be honest, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking more towards getting it white and make it look nice. I'm not getting any like hardcore detail because I will buy other wheels one day. Just in the meantime and if I do get to keep these I'll put some steelies on mine and get this power coated and you know get them get them all nice take them to the acid and all that BS but for now that's how it is I don't think I'm gonna be able to do all four today but definitely doing two well, we'll see what happens last time I did the SER ones took me all night like 40 something degrees but, and I still did them but uh we'll see we'll see pretty excited about it too let's get that over there taking care of the other one right now damn wheels I like them so much yeah so stay tuned um hopefully I'm waiting for this to get all dried up 
get it, um, put tape around it, and get it ready for painting. And uh, yeah, I'll take a video of that. So there's the second one right here. Looks a little bit way better than the other one. <sighs> it's coming out like doo-doo, but oh well. It's better than that. Old man's painting right there. So, I'm only gonna be doing two today, tomorrow. Another story. I'm really tired. All right, guys. Let's finish product right here. No. Forget the inside. I wasn't doing the inside at all. Oh, wow. Okay, I never saw that. Now I see that. Damn it. Oh, well. Hey, not bad for doing the spray can. So, a few bucks. Well done. Alrighty. Guys, yeah, so the other one is getting paid right now. And uh, after that one's getting paid, painted, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put it on after it gets dried up and on my way home. I'm tired, to be honest. The sun outside today, Florida weather is not as good as people say. And by the way, if you look at this fender, it's rolled out almost half an inch, so that looks weird. I'm trying to get those before I paint my car. Uh, yeah, that's all for today. Only two wheels. I'll probably show you right now in a clip, real quick, how it looks with both of them on. Already finished. And then. I'll cut the video there and probably see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm doing it. So if I don't put these two videos together, then you might you might see it all in one video. But I think I'm gonna do two videos. Let's do two videos. <laughs> I don't know you guys, but I love this car, man. I've invested too much money on this for now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so hopefully I get to see it finished. Uh, surprise so for this in here. It's coming up soon, hopefully in June. Ju I mean July or June. And uh, interior, to be honest, the only thing I want to change, uh, maybe seats if I could find the original oh. SCRs. Cause these are actually like a special edition one uh the boot i don't like that boot i like the scr one and the cluster it does say rpm and i hate having that little thing over there rpm gauge so i want to get that done if i can find a dash awesome because this one is cracked like you have no idea what's underneath there and then connect all these beautiful things after what's in there on the near future and uh, yeah so yeah that's it for now but uh so i'll see you guys tomorrow if you have any questions or anything just want to write a comment just put it on the bottom give it a thumbs up like the video it's going to help me a lot appreciate it right, let's get some fucking nice Spray can, dude. Good wheels. He polished the lip again. I'm paying the freaking wheels again. The camera cannot do justice for what this man have done to this car. Yeah. So, anyways, give the video a thumbs up. Like, right, guys, subscribe, please. It'll help me a lot. And. I'll keep throwing you guys some videos when I get a chance because now I actually do have time to make videos. In the meantime, I didn't have because I was working too much. So, yeah. Cool beans. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Peace.